Uh, I'm gonna try to film a video here to help with the wiring on the buzzer. For what it's worth, maybe it'll be more confusing to you. So I guess not all buzzers have two little stops, switches, if you will. So, uh, starting on the, the passenger side, you can see there's a blue wire, which is bolted on to this little bolt here. And obviously it's isolated from the handlebars with that little thing. This blue wire goes all the way down to the engine. You can see the blue wire, only one wire going down. This green wire is obviously what makes the light bright shine bright, right? That green wire comes over here to the passenger side. Now, before I had it hooked to one of these, right? This is the same as this thing over here, basically. Same idea, right? Goes up into that. Oops, around this way, and then it contacts on there. So basically me having it bolted to this little bar is the same as it contacting with this thing, right? Except obviously when I pull this lever, nothing happens. The brake light doesn't come on, right? Because it's grounded, you could say to there. It's connected. It's completed the circuit or whatever. So this one still obviously works. So when I it's not focusing for it, now my brake light would come on. So you could just install one of these, right? Like I should do. And then I'd bolt this green wire to this, right? And then obviously the brake lights will work when you pull that one. This other little wire is bolted to here and uh, goes underneath the little uh, headlight switch thing to ground it, right? That little blue wire comes down. My one's blue. Who knows what color your one is? If other people have been in here, right? You can see and try to get to focus. There's that little one blue wire coming all the way down and it comes down to here and let me go grab a manual real quick so I'll get it to focus you can see you can pause the video take pictures of that or whatever so how my one was is that blue wire you can see went into two green wires right one green wire was from the magneto and one green wire goes to the back stoplight. So there's one green, right? Coming to that terminal block. Then there's the green wire coming from the magneto, which is on the engine that's not in the bike right now. So two wires hooked into the one wire, which it's calling it green here. Mine should be green, but it's blue like you saw in the video earlier. Green wire, green, where does it go? Rear stop switch. Well, in this particular case, that green one we're talking about is right there, right? To the rear stop lamp. You can see one green, one yellow. And you can see over here, look, one green, one yellow. And that other yellow wire, where does it go, right? It goes up to this switch. So, yeah, I mean, you can just follow it, I guess, uh, watching that. But you can see how I was mentioning how the green wire should be blue, my one. You can see there's the green. That's actually blue on my bike on the front. Where does it go? It goes to your front stoplight switch, right? So that's the, hopefully that's enough for you to help. When I get my motor back in, maybe I'll film another video and help. Uh, maybe help more, right? But that's how it is, right? Yeah, mine is yellow to yellow, black to black, red to red. You can see black to black off the magneto, right? Red off the magneto to red, which then goes over to the coil, right? Red goes through the coil. Black just goes to ground. Look, there's a black coming off the coil. Black goes to ground. There's a red. That's a red right there. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh...